So if you want to run folding at home on Ubuntu 20.04, you are limited as to what you can install. I got it up and running here. You can see the little web server that runs showing the status. Let me just show you the uh, release here. I'm running release 20.04. Now if you follow the forums at all, you'll know that in um, the latest Ubuntu, they didn't install Python 2 anymore. And that's what the FAH control and the FAH uh, viewer use. The control is just a little GUI. It allows you to set the number of CPUs you want to run, your username, team number, and so forth. And this viewer, viewer is also GUI. It shows the protein as it's being folded. But really all you need to fold proteins is this client. This is a workhorse that does all the work. So. All you need to do is run this command and then install the client to get it working. But before we do that, if you haven't folded proteins before, recommend getting a username. You can uh, fold proteins anonymously, but getting a name is kind of fun because you can join a team. So you would do it on this page, and I'll put a link in the description. You put your name here, and you also put in an email, and this will get you a pass key. And a pass key is used, it's associated with the username, that way no one else can take credit for your work. So after you have your username and pass key, I would recommend going over and picking out a team. This is also a fun part of um, folding. You don't have to pick a team if you want, you can just choose, uh, choose team zero. But as you can see here, here are the, some of the top teams. And over here to the right are the team numbers. So we have a team as well. Uh, we'd be happy if you join it, and uh, I'll give you our team number just a little bit. So after you do the um, download and the installation, you're going to be presented with a little GUI, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. But first, let me show you what this looks like. Let me bring Firefox back up. So I installed earlier, right here, and this was shown after the little GUI was presented, which I'll show you in just a little bit. And I chose not to run this as a startup service, but to do it manually. And as you can see here, once you get this installed, you can issue this command, FAH client, and this will actually start the um, folding home. And if you've been keeping up with the latest news regarding this, um, they've had so many people helping out that they've had difficulty farming out work. So if, um, as I look through this log here, you can see that it actually uh, took a while for a work server to give us work to do. But finally it did connect and it is running. And there's something else I wanted to show you and that is when I started the client manually with this command right here, what it did is in this directory right here, it created these files, this one and then these two. Now this config.xml file here, this was configured from the little web server GUI I showed you. And I'll pull this up. It just has a couple pieces of information, um, team name and the CPU that I'm running. Go back here. So basically, if you wanted to change your identity, you could do it through here and then would update this file here. All right, now let me go ahead and show you um, how I install this. Okay, so back to installation. What you do in the command line is just run this first, run this um, uh, command here to get the software, and then you're going to run this command right here, which is to install the package. And when you do that, you're gonna get this little curses screen here. It's going to ask you um, just a few questions. The first is your username and put in here whatever it is that you chose. If you want to do it anonymously, you can do that as well. And you just hit OK. And here's the, here's the team number that they want. So if you pick something out, go ahead and put that in there. The default is zero, but we have our own team here. It's 267-072. Let me make sure I got that right. And that looks right. Enter. And then the pass key 
um, if you got one when you created your username you would put that here and this is optional as well hit OK now you're going to choose whether or not you want your computer to work hard or not really hard light medium and full are the choices I'm just going to go ahead and hit medium here if you do full it's going to try to grab all the CPUs all the time light it'll try to work when you're idle medium somewhere in between I'll go ahead and hit that and do you want the folding home client to be automatically started if you choose yes it's going to enter something in your init D and every time you start up the computer it'll just run automatically so if you want to choose that hit yes if not you hit no I'll just go ahead and hit no so I can show you how to start this uh, manually all right we'll let it go through this So after I got everything up and running, I went back and reread some things here. And in this FAH control section, it, it talks about the um, FAH client, and it says that they strongly recommend that it's started automatically. In other words, um, when you install it, you should choose that it um, starts up automatically in the startup script. Of course, I didn't do that. I like more control. I wanted to start manually. Now I did because it did throw a little error when it was installing. I did go to the um, etc and then the init D directory and you can see here that it did install a little script in here but it did not actually execute it because if you go up and let's just check this level here you can there isn't anything in here that is related to folding home client so I think what it did is it you hit no that you didn't want to install it or for it to start up. I put a little script over here in the etc directory, but then it just either disabled it or just stopped there so that way um, it's not started when you um, restart the computer. Um, so we got it up and going. Um, it's running fine. There are no issues with it. Um, as far as the Python 2 issue with uh, Ubuntu 20.04, I saw some people in forums, they went ahead and installed Python 2 under their system and they said they got things running. Um, it's not important that I have um, the control and the viewer up. I do a lot of Python program programming on here with uh, Python 3 and I don't want to have to modify scripts to look for a particular version. So if you don't mind doing this little hack and just running the clients, you can get up and running and folding the proteins is a worthy cause. If you have a comment, please leave it below. And thanks for watching.